Okay, breaking in a trial. A trial is very important in this line of field. Now, the trials that we have, this is a brand new trial, you see me taking out from the box. It's a brand new trial. Look at these edges. I'm going to show you a little example here on this shirt. Nothing is going on here. Now, I'm going to use this. This is my trial, broken in trial. I'm going to show you a sample here. Look at this. Now, I'm not saying your trial is supposed to be as sharp as a knife that you could cut your own cutting steak with it. But broken in, it would do some type of damage like this. This trial is too new to do some type of damage like that. So, when you buy a brand new trial, you're going to have to break it in. Now, the sandpapers that we have here are a sandpaper just from a hardware store. We have a 400 grid. We'll start with that. Then we'll jump on to the 600 grid. And then we have the 800 grid over here. And then we have the 1500 grid. Now, you could also use normal uh, a sand block from a drywall section in a hardware store. You get the trowel and you start rubbing it. Now, you're going to get water, you're going to wet the sandpaper. I'm going to get my trowel. I'm going to start with the 400 and start rubbing it. You clean it. I'm going to jump to the 600. Of course, you want to stay a little bit longer. On each, on each sandpaper. You clean it again. You jump to the 800. Then you jump to the 1500. Now what this does, it does some word of damage on it. It's still not broken in as well, but it gives it that nice little curve. Now look at the difference of these curves. A new trial wouldn't even have this little round tip right here. But as soon as you're done, you go back and you do it again. And you keep doing it until it gives you a nice proper little edge. The reason for it is with this particular products that we have here, you need flexibility for your trial. Now, in a brand new trial, because it's not curved yet, what happens is it could start pulling the product, and you don't want that. Even when you're burnishing, or when you're burnishing on the final coat, the third coat, that your burnishing trial, your small trial, has to be broken in. Because if not, when you start burnishing it with it, you can start pulling the material and you get little scratches, and you don't want that. So you always want to break in your trial before you use it. This is an example here. This is a a trial from a hardware store. We don't sell this trial. This is just from a normal hardware store. Now, look at me trying to bend this. This stuff does not bend. The steel of it is too sturdy, it's too hard. Our trials come directly from Europe and they're tempered twice. Now if you notice, look at this flexibility on this. Once again, for this particular product, you need flexibility. This will be the proper way of breaking in your trials.